Hi there, this is Ronnie, and this night coming at you with a video. Um, I'm redoing a video I did earlier because I made some grammatical errors and I really want to redo it. And this is a video concerning the Westboro Baptist Church. Um, and what I think should be done with them. Um, I won't give a potted history of the Westboro Baptist Church, there's plenty out there, I don't think there's many people online who haven't heard of them. Uh, essentially, I think three things should be done to them directly and then a couple of things indirectly. One of the things I think should be done may come across as controversial, but, you know, uh, let the chips fall where they may. The first thing I think should be done to them is that the government of the United States and governments around the world for that matter should officially label the Westboro Baptist Church a hate group and uh, a, a group to be watched by various agencies um, because it's what they are. Let's be honest about it. They are a hate group. They are a vindictive nasty little group who spew lies and distortions and hate against a minority um, and they should be labeled as that and dealt with uh, and sanctioned in, the, in that light. <coughs> the second thing I think that should happen is that their um, religious uh, status should be revoked and revoked from its inception actually backdated to when it was uh, conceived because they've never been a religious organization they are a hate group using a distorted version of religion to justify their bigotry they are not a religious organization, they're just a hate group. And it's not just gay people they hate, they hate everyone except their little minor selves. Um, they also hate their own country uh, because their country allows Catholics, their country allows black people, their country allows Muslims to live and work, you know. They allow gay people to exist. I mean, there's the, the list of people that the Westboro Baptist Church actually hates is so large that, you know, why they're not considered a hate group, I don't know. One of the direct consequences of this second thought, though, is that the government of the United States should go in and get the backdated tags and just strip them. Just take them to the cleaners uh, financially. Just rip them apart. And also, enshrined in law that any member of that church cannot go on to create new organizations and call them religious institutions if they're based on the same principles. This will ensure that um, they can't just, you know, keep the hate, change the name. Um, the third thing is the controversial one. And I stand by what I'm about to say here. When we talk about abuse, particularly when we talk about abuse to children, um, just because of the nature of um, the way that we discuss abuse these days, we always talk about sexual abuse. But there are many other forms of abuse. There is physical abuse, uh, emotional abuse, psychological abuse, and so forth, that can be visited on children. So let me make this clear. I do not believe any member of the Westboro Baptist Church is in any way involved in child sexual abuse. But I do believe they are child abusers. I believe that what they do to those children is emotional and psychological abuse. If you've seen any video of them picketing, if you've seen any video of the way that they teach their children this hate, no one with a good conscience could possibly call that anything other than abuse. 
it's psychological and emotional abuse and it's wrong in my opinion those children need to be taken away for their own safety for their own uh, psychological and uh, emotional well-being and personally I would charge each and every one of those parents um, with uh, child abuse because if you are indoctrinating that level of hate and it goes beyond disagreeing with something to absolute hatred then you're crossing the line as a parent it's bad parenting it's ludicrous that um, social services and local and federal government have not just jumped on this bloody place and just taken them down on that fact alone um, and you know I've seen the documentaries by Louis Theroux I've seen uh, interviews that the, the, the leaders of the Westboro Baptist Church have done I've seen uh, footage of pickets that's proof enough the proof is there so you know if you want to come after me you know they can fucking try but as the courts say truth is an absolute defense against uh, slander um, you know if you want to come after me I got the truth on my side and I got the truth from your own mouths and your own actions to barter with two things that I think should happen first is I think the media should just stop interviewing them stop filming them stop giving them publicity they feed off the publicity they I think they actually get aroused by the hate that they spew and the reaction to it that they that they get they they get off on it. It's, it's all you know. It's, 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 it's disturbing actually. So I say, just cut them off. Cut the fucking oxygen that they feed on off, and let them wither and die. Um, because that's what will happen to this petty little group if people stop. Just you know, ignore them. Fuck them. You know, media. Just let them go. They're a nasty little group that have only really gotten any publicity at all because of the publicity they're getting. Take the oxygen of publicity away and all that notoriety that they've built up and just let them go. The second thing with regards to these protests, uh, other than the fact that I'm sure that uh, uh, that cities and townships and counties up and down the land could put in all kinds of um, city and town and county ordinances just to uh, boot them to one edge of a park where they can't actually see a funeral taking place. Um, beyond that, I say counter picket. When it comes to funerals, Counter picket sol solemnly, counter picket respectfully, counter picket uh, quietly, but counter picket. Just stand there en masse. Just block the Westboro Baptist Church off. Stand with your back to them. Don't engage them. Don't look at them. Just stand there and be a barrier between. Uh, the Westboro Baptist Church and the grieving family whether one agrees with the Baptist Church's position on all their issues and I for one do not agree with any of their positions um, but even if you don't, even if you do have a problem with different religions or uh, if you have a problem with gay people or whatever It shouldn't stop you from picketing, and I'll tell you why. 
the overwhelming majority of picketing we've done has been to fallen soldiers. Now, whether you agree with being gay is okay or not, whether you agree with the war or not, those people have put their life on the line and have died in service of their country. It's an honourable charge. They bring dishonour to that soldier's memory by picketing. And in the overwhelming uh, number of cases, they're picketing for reasons that have absolutely nothing to do with that soldier and their death. And I would say, for that reason alone, if they're picketing near you, show up. Show your respect for a fallen soldier. Show your respect for a murdered child. Show your respect for a human being who has been cut short. And stand up against this kind of bigotry that is so perverse, so vile and evil that they would picket the innocent and cause distress to their families simply to make a point which has nothing to do with why that person died. It is vile. I mean, I will be, I'll be open about this. The Westboro Baptist Church, as far as I'm concerned, is, is as evil an organization. They are not Christians. They have no right to call themselves Christians. They are a perversion of Christianity. They are a perversion that Christ himself would denounce. They are evil to a man and a woman. Evil. That they would consider it Christian to picket the funeral of a murdered child. That's not Christianity. That's not what Christ taught. Christ would be ashamed that this organization dared to call itself Christian. They're not. They are evil. Pure evil. There is no good in them. They have shown it time and time again. They are not good people. They are not good human beings. They are evil, they are twisted, they are perverted. And, you know, if there truly is a hell, every single member of the Westboro Baptist Church is going there. No doubts about that whatsoever. They are going to hell. Why? Because they are, they are a mockery of Christianity. They are a mockery of Christ. You know, they do not serve Christ. They serve, you know, the counter to Christ. I don't want to say Satan, devil, whatever. I, I just, it, I think it's too simplistic. But they serve, I don't want to say anti-Christ either because it, it, it just drums up images of the omen. But every major belief of Christ they pervert, they distort, they abuse and they twist it to a point where they do not follow Christ anymore. They rebel against him. So those, my, those are, all, are my opinions of the Westboro Baptist Church. I stand by them. And I'll be back soon with another video.